We must strike the enemies within Skoyrock. Their captain, a vile orc known as Glugor, was recently seen entering the caverns. With his demise, we may just obtain the upper hand here. The rangers of Athelion have sent you to drive enemy forces out of the caverns of Skoyrock, and so prevent them from stinging at Aragorn's heels. Welcome back, everyone, to Pineath in Gondor, where today we are running the first of the two new resource instances, Skoyrock. This is similar to the resource instances that we had in Moria, where you may recently have seen my champion do one of those, the one for the... Oh, what was it? Ah! Yeah, yes, the one for the scholars. Yes, the scholar resource instance is one we did in Moria. This is the one for... Or I believe. And let's head out this way first. Now this, we have some sections blocked off. They have a very definite path for the instance version. The orcs have, well, some changes have come, I guess, since we've been in here. Changes due to the orcs or to the maggots. We'll find out which one. But I need to defeat maggot larvae is actually the main thing I need to defeat. So obviously the maggot larvae are a major thing in here. Collect ore samples. That's these things right here. So you need to collect samples of this mysterious ore. And of course kill a boss at the end. And the boss is... Well, I will presume uh, that will be... Yeah, here it is. There you go. And that has a one hour timer on it. So it's like the ones in Moria where you have a one hour timer. And where you have to get everything finished by the end of that time. And it should take a lot less than an hour. Yeah, at most 20 minutes because they, they pretty much give you three times the amount of time you need it. Partly because you could be going around here mining. Well, first of all, you need to do that mining for that little side quest, but the real mining for those who are prospectors, because prospectors will obviously go and try to collect all the ore they can while they're in here. Let's take care of that. And let's take care of that mysterious ore. And the idea here is, oh, there you go. Now, at least here, this was made so. There are actually two versions of this. You have the solo version, which is what I'm doing here. And there's also a full fellowship version. And I've never actually seen the inside of those. I think I might have seen a video of the inside of it, but. I've never personally done it because I've never completed all the prerequisite quests. Because to do the solo ones, you only have to collect, complete a certain number of quests within Slag Hills. To do the group ones, there are also some group quests you have to do in order to unlock it, which is pretty logical. group content in order to unlock a group instance is something that's reasonable. First, I was afraid that they might have required us to do the group content in order to unlock them all, but no, the solo one only requires solo content in order to unlock it, fortunately. And, which fortunately makes a little bit of sense there. Alright, there you go. Now, they don't have a quest here to kill orcs, but you'll be killing plenty of them along the way, so I guess they figured they didn't need us give us any encouragement to do that. 
Now, one thing about these resources is that's different from the ones in Moria. In fact, from any of the others I've seen, including the ones at Footbold and the ones in Fangorn, are that these always have the same mobs. You don't have a randomization of mobs like you do in Moria. We did in Moria, we ran into the Cave Claws. And they also had versions with the Morval and Goblins. But here, it's, it's always the Orcs in here that you're facing. So therefore the quest, for example, specifically call out the Maggot Larvae to kill. Because you're always going to run into them. And let's face it, orcs and larvae, that's logical for what enemies you're going to be facing in here. Since in order to unlock it, that's what you're going against. And yeah, facing maggots. Both the orcs, which they sometimes refer to them as maggots, at least the... You know, I guess in the figurative sense of the word. And those... Maggot larva, which I'm, I know sounds redundant to me, but that's beside the point. Alright, that is... That's five of those. I will run into... Oh, that's a dead end? Ah! So this is an optional... I think you might have enough ore that you can skip this section. I just don't remember the instance well enough, and, but I think I once skipped this section and managed to get plenty of ore in there, but, yeah. That section is cut off there, so let us head back this way. But that could save you a little bit if you don't need to kill all of the orcs, and, yeah, alright, that's to keep you from backtracking down that way. Back to the beginning. Oh, and this is where we run into the mag... It could be that these barriers were erected to control the movement of the larvae. Yeah, it's possible. But these things really look awful. I guess that's what they, they decided to do a play on words for the whole thing. I think when they called them mag holes, I, if you refer to as mag holes in the lore, I'm pretty sure they meant where the these little holes where the orcs were coming out of and went around. And the people at Standing Stone thought, well, what if there really were maggots in there? Giant maggots, of course. Because we've got giant spiders, we've got giant fly, and yeah, and I, I just wonder, okay, is this where the giant flies come from? They look awful, don't they? Pretty much awful. Alright, let's... Are, are you ready to go down? But, yeah, they, they're tough. Certainly not... Mm, certainly not a trivial instance. And there's a more ore for the ore. We don't have to kill the slag slugs, but... Unless you want to fight them... I won't be able to do AoEs near them unless I wanted to fight them, since of course AoEs will get me on their bad side. Alright. Okay, that, that's one of those down, and the other one down. Okay, that's sick. Now, unfortunately, the maggots are aggressive, so... More foes occupy the passageway up ahead. Alright, you see this one is blocked off. Whether that was done by the orcs or the maggots or what, I don't know. Seeing how 
It could have been a vain effort by the orcs to try to keep the maggots from spreading. It obviously didn't work very well if there are effects on this side of the collapse. This way? Alright. And more to Now, there is a section that we're about to come up which we never entered in the original. In the original. Actually, now I do the. I did see a video. With the with the group versions of these, because now I remember Maven was in it, and I think it was Maven involved in it, and they're discussing the keys, which we'll talk about later on. See, the hungry ones, their signatures. So uh, yeah, they're tougher. So. Get to these. What do they got? Forty-three thousand. Oh yeah, nothing. Nothing like this larva that has almost twice as much morale as I do. All right, it's going down. That's ten. Now you see, we have a few extra orcs this way. And right here, this section is a group area. I don't know if it's a if there are any quests out that way, it's possible that one of the unlocking quests for the group content sends you through here. But since I didn't do the first, even the first stage of the unlocking quests for the group content, I certainly wouldn't know. Those orcs are optional because the one I really want is down this way. And if you wanted to get every single drop you can get, you can do that. But I figure... I'm doing enough stuff already in this video. So this video is going to be long enough with, without doing that. So let's just go through here. Is that the... I don't know if that's the only one that's a signature. I would hope not. But it's interesting that these mobs here are... Oh, my final one. Are a little slightly sturdier than the landscape mobs I usually run into. I guess they figure, well, this is what you can handle. Alright. I don't know how well I'll be able to handle it in a different class, but that's another matter. But hopefully each player can handle it on their specialty class. There we go. Are you ready to go down? Yeah, alright. I think it's starting to get the hang of finding these things. Alright. And... I think I got a couple more larvae. I've got all the larvae I need. I've got all the ores I need. And I got 45... Four, 14... 46 minutes left. So, plenty of time in order to finish this all up. It said, I think they gave the computer for a nominal 20 minutes. You know, if you're collecting all your resources, it might take you 30 minutes. They give you an hour. And if you're particularly fast or powerful or anything like that, a lot more so than I am, then maybe you could do it a lot. A bit faster. Okay. These things sound awful. Really awful. Incredibly awful. Yuck. Oh. And that, and plus they are incredibly uh, I mean, What kind of mouth is that? 
Oh, well. They're all throat, it looks like. Well, I think maybe that's what larvae are. They're just these eating machines so they could grow into adult insects. All right, let's see. Now, here is where the boss is going to be. It might have been interesting if they had the variation of maybe having the bosses being in one of those two rooms, but I guess this is the last room you enter, so it's naturally where the boss is going to be. There you go. Ha 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 ha. Now, I think that the part, yeah, it's going to go down again before he gets that heal off. That was the idea there. And now, is that the boss? No, it's not the boss. You have him there. You have the. So, yeah, Glugor is in Elite. 59,000. He's actually pretty much on par with the Sigs I think I saw earlier. So, it's an elite, so probably a little bit better armor and mitigations to earn the elite talent, but the same, about the same morale as, as a signature, though. So that you'll be able to handle it, because as I said, the signatures here are a little bit tougher than some of the other signatures I've run into. Certainly a little bit tougher than the ones you run into a skirmish. And I don't have a skirmish soldier here since this is an instance and you can't use the skirmish soldiers in instances. Alright, so now let's see if I can I take out this defiler without getting too much. Yeah. I think I can do that. Does he come to me or Okay, it comes to me. How oh, nice and convenient. Because that's exactly what I wanted you to do. Thank you. Alright, so now, Glugor. Uh, I think I want to start out with an ambush here, which is why I'm waiting for this. And now, another quest is going to pop up as soon as I get near him. And that is this locked strong box optional that you just saw here. It's very strange that they label it optional. Is because, yeah, it's a. Uh, you know, because it's a separate quest and all this stuff. Because, because DDO has a lot of quests that will say optional in it. And some of them are really optional, and others you don't have to do. And some of them are just things you do along the way to give you a little experience point. A little extra experience along the way. So, anyway, the lockbox, you're supposed to get a key. You get the keys from one of the rangers. It costs you certain things and all this. I just don't think it's worth it because it's just some resources. And I think the extra resources aren't worth the trouble. Now, some of the rewards that you get in here probably could be used in order to pay for the lockbox, which is similar to how in Moria you do have this lockbox, which is what you do for your quest completion items that you could use in order to spend them on that. So, I presume it is similar to that. But that is a Skoyrunk. And now all we have to do is go and turn in these quests, and we'll be done. When I see you next time, though, we are going to be entering into the Towers of the Teeth to see how that one works in the next episode of Pineleaf in Gondor.